Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So before we understand more properties of quadrilateral, let's understand the types of quadrilateral. There are so many types of quadrilateral and I mean, this is not the exhaustive list. But we'll try to study about these quadrilaterals. If you observe, all of these quadrilaterals have different properties, but they all have four sides four uh, uh, vertices, four angles and two diagonals. That means all of these are quadrilaterals. But if you see this particular figure is called trapezium. Okay, so in this case, if you see one pair of opposite side of a quadrilateral are parallel, only one pair. Okay, so let me write here one pair of opposite side is parallel that is trapezium so if both the pair of opposite sides are parallel then it is called parallelogram here if you see both pair is parallel here also both pair parallel, here also both pair parallel, here also both pair parallel. So in this figure, both pair of opposite side is parallel. Okay. So it both and all these are called what? Parallelogram. So let me write here. Parallelogram. This is also parallelogram. Parallelogram. Okay, so all these are parallelogram. Okay. Both side, opposite sides are parallel, so they are called parallelogram. Now if you see, but they are all different. They look different, right? And that's why we have four different figures. So one case, only one pair of opposite sides is parallel. Parallelogram, uh, sorry, trapezium. Both pair of opposite sides parallel. Then it is called parallelogram. And this is a different case. We'll talk about that later. Now in parallelogram also, we have four different figures. Okay. So in, this is parallelogram. This is also parallelogram. This is also parallelogram. This is parallelogram. But if you see, this is just a parallelogram. So this has extra feature. This has extra feature what the angles are 90 degree. So it is called rectangle. Okay. So rectangle, the definition is, it is a parallelogram. Please uh, remember this definition, parallelogram with one right angle only when at least one right angle so that is if you ha it has one right angle it will go it will be called rectangle that is rectangle. in rectangle also if you add one more property that is all the sides are equal you see it has length it has breadth and length is not equal to breadth and if you make all the sides equal then it is called square Okay, so this is a square and the definition of square will be one parallelogram with uh, or rectangle with actually you can say this is a rectangle rectangle with all side equal. So in fact by definition this is also rectangle. Because definition of rectangle is parallelogram with one right angle. So this is a parallelogram and this has one right angle. Okay, this is square also because rectangle with all sides equal or square. Now this is also a parallelogram, but it has a different property. Here if you see this is the length and this is let's suppose breadth, both are non-equal. So this is called rhombus. 
So here the angle need not be 90 degree, but rhombus is parallelogram with all sides equal. Please note all these are parallelogram. This is just a parallelogram because it has just the normal property of parallelogram that is that is both pair of opposite sides are parallel. Now if you make this angle as 90 degree it becomes a triangle. If you make the angle as 90 degree and also make the length and breadth same they are square. In the parallelogram if you just make the length and breadth same it becomes rhombus. Right this is A and this is A. Okay then comes a different figure called kites. It is not a parallelogram. That's why I have put in a different bucket. So kites, the definition is the two pair of edges and sides are equal. Two pair of edges and sides equal. Then this will be equal to this and this will be equal to this. Please note, in this case, two pairs of adjacent sides has to be equal. Okay, in case of parallelogram, all these sides are rhombus, all the sides are equal. Square, all the sides are equal. Parallelogram, a rectangle, this is equal and this pair is equal. Okay, parallelogram, opposite sides are parallel. So they don't talk about uh, equality, but actually if you will prove that in parallelogram, these sides are opposite sides are equal. That is there, but by definition, they don't talk about that. And trapezium, also it says that it talks about parallelism of one pair of opposite side. Please spend some time on this slide, pause this video and try to analyze all these definitions. Very, very critical to understand this chapter. Quadrilateral means four sides. In fact, there can be more quadrilateral. For example, I can draw quadrilateral like this, right? It has four sides. But this is in is is you can't categorize this as kite or square or parallel parallelogram or rhombus or trapezium. But this is also quadrilateral, right? So you can have different types of quadrilateral. But in this chapter, I will be focusing more on these one, two, three, four, five, six types of quadrilateral. Trapezium where one pair of opposite sides are parallel, parallelogram where both the pairs of opposite sides are parallel and kites where two pairs of edges and sides are equal. The parallelogram can further be divided as normal parallelogram, rectangle, square or rhombus. If in the normal parallelogram the angles are 90 degree, it is rectangle. If in the normal parallelogram the, the angles are 90 degree plus the sides are equal, it is a square. In the normal parallelogram, if the length and breadth are same, it is called rhombus. Okay, so let's do a recap of what we have studied. Okay, so if you see the whole quadrilateral, what we have decided as this whole pink thing is quadrilateral. Okay, and there can be more here actually, normal quadrilateral. So this quadrilateral actually, or let me not say this quadrilateral, there is a subset and this is called kites. Okay, the advantage of kite is that this adjacent pair of sides are equal. And this quadrilateral, it can be any quadrilateral actually. All these are quadrilaterals. Okay. Now, that is one part. Now, we have classified quadrilateral based on parallelism. So, this blue part, this is called trapezium, where one pair of opposite sides was parallel. This blue part we call as parallelogram well, let me write trapezium here only right let's write here 
trapezium. Okay, and let me write kite here only. The white right in pink. Okay, now in parallelogram also, if you see this yellow one is square. This gray one is again a normal uh, parallelogram. And the green one is rectangle. This is rhombus actually. Rhombus. This is rectangle. That is how I denote this. Now if you observe this carefully, this Venn diagram, the square and rectangles are overlapping. That means a rectangle, a square can be a rectangle. Right. Similarly, a, a square can be rhombus. If you see this, this, if I, this is a square. I can say by definition this is rhombus also because the definition of rhombus is a parallelogram. That is, two sides are parallel plus all sides are equal. So a square is a rhombus also. Right, and that's why a square is in the middle. It is common. A square is a rectangle also. If you see here, this square. Is a rectangle because by definition of rectangle, rectangle is nothing but a parallelogram with angle is 90 degree. Correct. So note that here square is a rectangle and also rhombus. Please note this. Very important point. Square is a rectangle because by definition rectangle is nothing but parallelogram with one side as 90 degree. Square also has this. So square is a rectangle. Square is also rhombus because rhombus definition is a parallelogram with all sides equal. Square is also a parallelogram with all sides equal. But the reverse is not true. A rectangle is not a square. A rhombus is not a square. Okay. Also note that kite is not a parallelogram. Kite is not parallelogram. Okay, so if you see quadrilaterals, we actually classified based on the parallelism. So kite is not at all a parallelogram. And then the ones which are parallel, trapezium. And then if one pair of side is parallel, we call it trapezium. If both the pair of sides are parallel, we call it parallel. In fact, if you see if you see the definition, the relationship between trapezium and parallelogram, we can say that all the parallelogram is actually a trapezium. Can you see? One sides are parallel, right? We can see that as well. Now, that's why the parallelogram is trapezium, but trapezium is not parallelogram. Okay, let me write here. Parallelogram is trapezium but reverse not true okay in in all these cases see kite is not a parallelogram is a different case but in both this case parallelogram is a trapezium you can see that parallelogram is a trapezium okay but trapezium is not a parallelogram. Same thing. Square is a rectangle. Square is a rhombus. But a rectangle and rhombus is not a square. Correct. So you have to go this way. Square you have to go from center to top. Square is a rhombus. Square is a rectangle. Square is a parallelogram. Square is a trapezium. Square is a quadrilateral, right? Because if you're starting from this point, if you see, draw a line, drawing a line here. Square is a rhombus, yes. Square is a rectangle, yes. Square is a parallelogram, yes. Square is a trapezium, yes. Square is a quadrilateral, yes. But the reverse will, may not be true, right? A, a pink one is what? A quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is a trapezium, may not be true. A quadrilateral is a parallelogram, may not be true. 
because all the quadrilateral are not parallelogram example in this right so this is true but the reverse in this direction is not true same thing you start from kite kite is a parallelogram yes all the kites parallelogram no start from here trapezium is a quadrilateral yes all the tra quadrilateral trapezium no start from here right start from here parallelogram is a tra all the parallelograms of trapezium yes but all trapezium parallelogram no start from here all rhombus parallelogram yes all rhombus trapezium yes but all trapezium all rhombus quadrilateral yes but the reverse will not be so all trapezium rhombus no correct so this is a venn diagram and this is how we depict spend some time on this pause this video and understand the relationship between these type of quadrilateral very very important to understand the chapter of quadrilateral, you should know what is the difference between square, rhombus, rectangle, trapezium, parallelogram, kites, quadrilateral, and how are these linked? Very, very important. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.